Okay, well, good morning, and it's time for Circle Time with Champion's Choice for Early Learning. I'm Kate Longacre, and I'm here with some friends that we will introduce later. All right, well, come on in. Rise and shine, and welcome to school today. Rise and shine, and welcome to school today. I'm so glad you got up and tuned in today. How are you, my friends? Well, Strawberry got up and tuned in today. Grape got up and tuned in today. Let's all wave and say good day to them. Let's all wave to them. And Paw Patrol got up and came to school today. And Spider-Man got up and came to school today. Let's all wave and say good day to them. Let's all wave to them. And Salty got up and came to school today. And Sid got up and came to school today. Let's all wave and say good day to them. Let's all wave to them. Well, hello everybody. We're so glad that you tuned in. And guess what? Sid is here. Yeah. Uh, hi guys. <coughs> Uh-oh. Sid's been up to something, I can tell. What have you been doing, Sid? Uh, well. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think he's eaten something he's not supposed to eat again. Well, uh, I just thought I would try some ants. What? Yeah, um, you know, ants like apples. So I thought if I ate some ants, then I could eat an apple. Hmm. How many ants did you eat? Uh, well, one, two, three, four, five. I ate, um, maybe eight apples. No, I ate ants. Eight ants alive, and um. Then what did you do? Um. Well, can you count with me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I spit them out again. <coughs> uh. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> I can see you're spitting them out. Yeah, um, they didn't taste very good. Have you ever had chocolate-covered ants? No, I have not had chocolate-covered ants. Have you? No, but I understand they're really good. Um, yeah, people really eat chocolate-covered ants. Hmm, I don't think I would like them. Uh, yeah. Hmm, well, um, yeah, so I wanted to have some apples, and so I ate the ants. I thought maybe they could lead me to the apples. Did they? Uh, well, I saw them on the ground, and they were crawling around, and and they was going to the apple tree. Well, I don't think there's any apples out yet. It's it's like snowing out. Oh, well, I gotta wait then, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we are doing the letter A this week. Yeah, we are. The letter A. And ant and apple start with A. Yeah, they do. And they sound like what? Ah. Can you guys say ah, apples? Very good. What else starts with A? Well, alligator. You know, like over there. Oh, he's pointing to my board. I have alligator. Do you know what the letter A looks like? Looks like this. A for alligator. And I think that is Alley the alligator. The big A, which we call the mama and daddy A, looks like this. And the baby the A looks like this, or the small A. These are also called uppercase A. Uppercase letters are all the big ones. And this is a lowercase letter. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it now. Hmm. <laughs> well, thanks 
for showing that to me. Hey, that reminds me about a story that was written last week. Um, did you help write that story, Sid? No. A friend of mine did. One of the kids. It was Strawberry. Hey, Strawberry, let's read your story last week. It was, you know, Sid's been eating ants today. But last week, Strawberry wrote a story about an inchworm eating iguana. Remember we did inchworm last week? Yeah. I think Sid's going to go. Hi, guys. He's going to go. Go back over here for a bit. So, this is the inchworm eating iguana by Strawberry. Yeah, he kind of wanted to be anonymous. Do you know what that means? Anonymous? It means you don't want anybody to know who you are. Okay, once upon a time, at night, an iguana and an inchworm, they lived under the ground. Here they are, under the ground. You can see the inchworm and the iguana. They played on that horsey in the cat story with the good knight. There they are, they're playing on the horsey, aren't they? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Have you ever played on a horsey? They went to the store to buy stuff like chocolate and soup and candy, like those orange things that stick together. There they are. Do you think they went and their mom's name, do you think they went like in our Bible story and they said, my mom said I could buy these things. I don't know. If you haven't listened to that story, you should. Then they ate it all. And they ate it all. They ate all the candy and the soup and the orange things that stick together. Then they went back home under the ground. They found worms at, under the ground. A wiggly worm and a tickly worm. There they are. Which one do you think is the wiggly worm? Do you think, did you say this one? If you did, I think that's the wiggly worm. I think this one over here is the tickly worm. And there's the inchworm and the iguana under the ground again. Then the iguana ate the inchworm. Oh no! Iguana ate the inchworm. I thought they were friends. Oh no! Because he likes to eat worms. He ate a lot of other worms. Like more than 26. Oh boy. Well... That's what iguanas do. They eat worms. They like them. <laughs> Sid didn't like the inchworm when he tried to eat one. Um, oh, got to turn the page. Then he went to bed. The end. There he is in bed. Do you think iguanas sleep in a bed like that? Where do you think iguanas sleep? I don't know. You got an idea. You can kind of put it in the comments if you think you've got an idea about that. Well, that, I like, hmm, I got another story for you. That reminds me of this story about little A. Yeah, little A. Do you think, what do you think little A is going to do today? I think he's going to fill his box. What do you think? He always fills his box. Sometimes the letter person is a girl, isn't it? This time it's a boy. Little A had a box, didn't he? Uh, he said, I will fill my box. Little A put on his hat and went for a walk. What do you think he's going to find first to put in his box? Something that starts with A. Yeah. What do you think? Think it'll be an alligator? Let's look and see what he puts in his box. He found apples! 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 He put the apples into his box. 
If you said apples, you were right. There are lots of apples. Look all over the ground. It must be springtime in this story, not snow time like we have here. Oh, what did he find next to put in his box? Little A found an alligator. If you said alligator, you're right. He put the alligator into his box. Look there. I don't think it's going to fit though. I wonder what he's going to do. Little A found ants. Did you say ants? If you did, you were right. In you go, ants, he said. There he found the ants. They were in their ant hill, and then they went into the box. Oh, look! He made an inclined plane so the ants could go up. Remember, we did inclined planes last week, and we drove cars up and down on them. And that little inchworm crawled up it, remember? Then little A found arrows, arrows, arrows. I hope they're play arrows. Did he put the arrows into his box? Yes, he did. There's the arrows he found. And then he put them into his box with the alligator and the ants and the apple. Uh-oh. He put ants and apples in his box. Remember what Sid said? That he thought the ants were going to go to the apples because they like to eat apples. I wonder if the ants will eat up all the apples. Let's see if we find out. Little A found an axe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What would you do if you found an axe? Would you play with the axe? I hope not. Oh, this was a toy axe. Okay, it's a toy. Then he can play with the toy axe and he can put that in his box. He did put it in his box. But if you found a real axe, what would you do? Would you play with it? I hope not. You should just leave it there and go tell your mom or your dad that you found an axe. Because axes are sharp and they can hurt somebody. Uh-oh, now the box is full. It was so full, the ants, the arrows, and the axe fell out. Oh, no! It was too full. What do you think's going to happen? Do you think he'll get angry? Or do you think he'll say, no biggie. And just pick them up and put them back. Let's see. The apples and the alligator fell out too. Who will help me fill my box? Said little A. Uh oh. He is disappointed. He's not angry, but he's disappointed and he's sad. He has tears. Oh no. Who's going to help him? Who's going to come along and help him? Would you help him if... If you were there, I bet you would. An astronaut came by. I will help you, said the astronaut. We will fill your box. Where do you think that astronaut came from? Where do astronauts do? They fly in spaceships out into outer space and back to explore. I wonder if that's where he came from. Oh, the astronaut took little A for a ride in his rocket ship. This one looks like an airplane. They kind of look like airplanes until they speed off into outer space. Let's see what else. Whoop. Up, up, up and away they went. Oh, who else went with them? The alligator. If you said alligator, you're right. And who else is there? The ants. And if you look in the window here, you can see the arrows. There's some more ants. And in the cockpit, which is where the pilot rides, the astronaut, he's the pilot this time. Pilot is somebody who flies the plane, who drives it like a car. They're called pilots in an airplane. And there's little A. 
and the apples oh and the apples.